knives! Completely safe Swiss knives with which I did not cut my fingers earlier yesterday is whatever I'm winter and this is a completely new thing actually it isn't but I'm assuming everybody forget about it <laughs> my fault my bad I'm sorry this is super flat adventures welcome back to this wonderful new thing that I, that I just said that it isn't new you know what I have enough melons I have enough <laughs> uh, it is all Minecraft's fault because every time I change my skin, it takes forever for it to change. This is the only armor I have. Hmm. Hmm. I don't need these bones. I'll keep the stone. I don't need the seeds. I don't need the sign. Uh, I don't need the extra bows either. Is this it? The extra. Wood, I don't like the uh, extra wood, but I'll take the iron and the gold too. Oh, the gold, you know, I guess I didn't. You know what I haven't thought of yet? I have pumpkin seeds. I could make a pumpkin grow and wear it over my head to hide this uh, <laughs> this thing that is supposed to be there and be safe from the enderman. Nah, that's cheating. <laughs> I, I think I'll leave. I think this is enough. We need I don't need another bucket. I have everything I need. I got all the areas I wanted. It's time to go. It is time to go. So going I will. Thank you for uh, letting me be here. Thank you for having had me around for all this time. I built this thing. It's beautiful isn't it and it's time to leave towards center left we should be this way let me bring up a whoop that's the wrong button let me bring up this wonderful yes i remember correctly this wonderful mod that cleans up the f3 screen even though menu even though it's still here boop see we're still in the sky barrier but yes we're heading towards zero to see wait a second i forgot i'm supposed to get more wood because <laughs> i don't i pretty much don't have uh, any wood almost whatsoever plus I'll take the extra torch. We're heading towards zero zero to face the terrible, evil, angry Ender Dragon number one. <laughs> and after that, the terrible, evil, and angry Ender Dragon number two. Hooray! <laughs> In this very beautiful, wonderfully colored world made of colored wool, because it can't be colored without uh, with only grey wool. That's another mine shaft right there. We do need to check out mineshafts in general to get uh, a couple of extra torches, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, wood, and most importantly, we are completely out of armor. You know, I should have taken the... <laughs> I should have taken the crafting table with me. Uh, maybe it's about time I make myself a chest plate. Uh, just to be safe. I, I'm pretty, I think I was keeping the iron for something. But now I don't remember anymore, so I'm going to... <laughs> the ruin my own plans and just uh, keep going indeed we need to check mine shafts uh, just uh, for the chests uh, and to get the more iron and do I need the gold for any reason well if all those fails I'll wear gold armor oh no it's a spider and spider isn't good well it could be a normal spawner actually a normal spider spawner I mean but I'm not willing to risk checking that out. Spider spawners are scary. So yeah. I had <laughs> I had a moment of fear where I thought when 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 where I had a moment of fear. I thought I did not uh, I wasn't playing on hard. Ah Sometimes I change difficulty in my worlds, usually too peaceful when I'm trying to build stuff or whatever, and then when I'm playing things where difficulty is supposed to be higher than that, I completely forgot to change back. Ah, scary, scary, scary everything. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, yes, that was, ah, that was exactly what I didn't want to find. It's still following me. It's still following me. It's still following me. Wait. Okay. Ooh. Sorry for screaming. <laughs> I didn't spawn right there. I walked past a spider spawner while trying to escape a 
powder. <laughs> I mispronounced that one. This torch is on the ground. Poor little torch, I'm going to adopt here. There we go. Alright, I need to find chests. This staircase didn't lead anywhere. <laughs> Let's see, do we see any easily accessible chest? Anyone near here? Is that a ch Nope, it's not. Careful. Alright, nothing here. Ah, ah, I'm stuck! <laughs> hmm, I should have blocks on my bar. And these are the blocks I am... I am equipped with. Come on, it should be easy to find a chest somewhere in here. That's a dirt room. Right, oh, there's uh, one right in front of me. What's in here? Oh, iron, yes. I'll take the bread and the coal and the lapis. Oh, another one right here. Yes. Oh, more iron, more coal, more lapis. Die! More spiders too. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Is that a chest? Did I see a single pixel chest right there or am I making that up? <laughs> That would be quite impressive, I'm not even playing in full screen or anything, because while recording I'm playing in a window. What's that guy doing up there? Uh, anyways, no I didn't. <laughs> for your information, I completely messed it up. So let's uh, sit down for a moment. Make, put, put this down, what am I missing? I think I'll go with the boots. For a moment I will keep my... Very fragile <laughs> uh, protection three pens for as long as they can last. Am I going to activate that? Not yet, not yet. Stay there, stay deactivated. I want to steal more torches, especially the not working ones. I need to give them a purpose. <laughs> but uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm traveling not in, not towards the center of the map. But it's okay. It's a good way. This is going to take a. Uh, if I were to travel immediately to zero zero, it would take uh, just uh, one episode or two to finish this, actually. Because the, the first in the dragon fight, since there's not going to be um, crystals around the regenerating the dragon's health, is actually going to take very little time. No spawners in sight? Wonderful. Let's... I'm probably missing so many chests that are like right in my face and I don't notice. Oh, 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 right in my face, right in my face! Uh, boop. Did I see something here? I feel like chests are everywhere. I'm so afraid of missing them. But yeah, let's walk uh, again towards the general west direction. There is a chest right here. What's in here? Boop. Redstone, melon seeds and bread. Bread is awesome. It's going to give me a tiny bit more saturation than melons do. So I'll try to keep... Uh, Thought I heard the skeleton, but I didn't. I'll try to keep... Oh, look, we can see the moon. The moon... Uh, what's the opposite of... Wow, this is weird. What a weird symmetrical hole. I like it. Do I... I had the sign back at the base and I left it. Ah, oh, this deserves some sort of name. The symmetrical hole of symmetricalness. There we go, completely original. So, indeed, we're traveling west. Uh, and we hopefully are going to come across a stronghold. I kind of wish to find a stronghold before fighting the first standard dragon. Not because I really need it. I mean, it's besides mineshaft chests, it's my best chance of getting diamonds. Which means I could get enchantments. Also, we would get a chance to visit nether real quick because strongholds have lava in them. And plus it would make it just for an interesting episode overall. If we were to just walk there and kick the dragon's ass. It would be awesome, especially fighting two in a row. But if we can do more, I'll gladly do more. This world generated with strongholds and I'd like to find one at least. Plus it's in the intro. There's a stronghold in the intro of this series. It would be kinda sad if no strongholds actually appeared. Why is there a light? That can't be a lava pool, did not enable lava pool, no, it's just a uh, wee. <laughs> it's just a mineshaft that is just below the surface. 
五字感呢 ？Dangerous 啊 ，Interesting. There are so many mine shafts. Sometimes there there have been a couple of playthroughs when I tried this before starting to record. When I would spawn in a seed and I wouldn't find mine shafts for a long time. As I already mentioned in the first episode, probably the hardest part of this is the beginning because if you do not find a mine shaft in time, you're going to starve to death. That's very sad and unfair. Most Minecraft challenges in general have this issue because that's the way Minecraft is. The first uh, hours of play are the hardest ones, and if you're good, the first 30 minutes are the hardest ones. If you're playing single player, the first 5 minutes <laughs> are the hardest ones, because that's when you have nothing and the entire world is trying to kill you. But once you start getting armor and food and that renewable source of wood, it gets really, really simple. So I think I don't need to gather any more wood anymore, but I would like to gather more iron. Just a yes, it is a spawner. <laughs> this is really the only danger. Am I going backwards? Where did I come from? <laughs> I got turned around. It's really the only danger I face in this particular super flat world with the specific characteristics. Only the, these guys right there. Only we, Mr. Venomman, only cave spiders are my real biggest enemy here. Because Venomman, you pretty much just have to avoid looking at them. And if you're not good at avoiding to look at them, you have to find pumpkin seeds and after that you grow a pumpkin and you're set. No more enemy issues. Boop. Chests. 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 Need chests. Nope, no chests. Oh man! I started sprinting instantly, did you see that? <laughs> All this playing one point... Uh... Oops, spoilers! <laughs> All this playing on the online servers has made me not use the twins that sprinting. It's actually pretty weird with the, the kind of like I suffer from when I start playing a single player and I do this. And I'm like, <gasps> the arrow was, was fired instantly. That's so beautiful. <laughs> nom 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 nom. And one more nom 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 nom. I feel like after killing the Ender Dragon, I will be sick of <laughs> watermelons. <laughs> no more watermelons ever. Yeah, there we go. We're entering a uh, mineshaft free area. Also, I shouldn't look uh, at this site. I should, I should look here and not here, because if an Enderman appears on the screen right at that moment, that would be awful. So I could be traveling on the surface. I could just pillar up. Well, I kind of need to dig up a couple extra blocks, but that's not the point. Uh, uh, so you would actually get to see the sun, but I'm not doing that again because I'm looking for strongholds and uh, uh, strongholds are down here, although we are layer almost 50. It's difficult to find surface strongholds at this height, but this world was... Uh, let me let me add something here. You, If there is one thing you can't in any way do in a while generating a super flat world with uh, all the characteristics you want. If there's one thing you can't change, is the height at which s things spawn. You can't change the height at which uh, minerals spawn. And you can't change the height at which mine shafts, strongholds, pyramids spawn. You can't affect that in any sort of way. So the only thing you can do to play around that is to have your terrain at, a, at the height you want. So if I were to uh, spawn a classic super flat world the, at the height of five blocks, we would find floating mine shafts and strongholds. Not villages though, because villages can spawn at any height whatsoever. I believe maybe they have a maximum height, but not a minimum height. This can't be, no, it's not, okay. Hmm. Ooh, spookiness and an amendment torch and a chest. Whoops, I wanted to open the chest. Oh, okay, there we go. Bread and more coal. This makes me happy. Give me that back. And boop. Maybe I should explore a mineshaft properly. 
I totally should just sit down, check how much iron I've got. And... Wait, that's not a lot. I thought I'd get more. Never mind that. I'm leaving! <laughs> okay, I think I'll stick around this area for the next 5 minutes and uh, try to get the more... Let's use the most of this. Oh, finally I have a bunch of torches. Let's try to get to find more... Chests, shall we? Finally, I can't make charcoal in this kind of world because there are no trees and without the logs there's no way you can make charcoal. So I've been lacking torches this, this entire time. This is the second time I'm convinced I hear a skeleton and I totally haven't. Let's see... Anything down here? How about here? Nope. This is kinda dangerous. Does this lead towards the surface? I don't think so. <laughs> Most beautiful mineshaft ever. Okay, this doesn't go anywhere. Um, clearly torches are not actually necessary since the only thing that can spawn is Enderman and I don't mind them. But it will help you with visibility and me from the future from adding all the extra light in the footage to make things a bit more visible and easy on your eyes. So I'm helping myself here. <laughs> I totally placing and then removing torches is going to just make things harder. But oh, whatever, let's get out. Uh, whoop, oh, oh. His mine shaft sucked. We're really close to zero zero, by the way. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if we're out of stronghold range. Because I am. I am uh, 500. Uh, not even 500 blocks away from zero zero, and the strongholds spawn further away from that. But. As I was saying before, you can't affect the height at which strongholds spawn, but in super flat worlds, you can affect the number of strongholds and the distance from each other and the center. And if I remember correctly, this world has five or seven strongholds. Probably seven, because I was simply hoping to kind of come across one randomly while walking around. And I'm pretty sure I also put them a tiny bit closer together than they normally are. But I don't remember by how much. <laughs> Oops. But finding a surface one is possible. This is very uh, high in the air, but it's still possible to find a strong surface stronghold, which is really what I'm hoping to do because there are no caves here. So uh, finding one underground is going to be too hard. Hey, I know, that's what I'm hoping to do, that's why I'm still kind of traveling around, and I still need iron anyways. I don't really need it. I could defeat the Ender Dragon pro style. <laughs> or no armor, or minimum armor, but uh, I would like some extra pieces on me. Protecting my fragile and soft... Skin is this blood that's a spawner? Yikes! Here we are. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. How about here? More chests? We're almost. I'm almost out of time. Nom 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 nom. Anything? Nope. Let's go down here. Ooh, torch. Three torches. Is this where the spider spawner was? No, I, I ran away from it. It's further away. I really hate when Minecraft does this. <laughs> Caves especially are annoying when they just uh, seem to finally lead a diamond layer and they stop. <laughs> That's uh, Minecraft trolling me right there. Hmm... Wouldn't it be nice if I found a stronghold right now, as I end the episode? Let's allow ourselves to travel a tiny bit more in this general direction, as we watch the beautiful dawn or sunset. Oh, it's dawn. That's... it's dawn time. Down time. <laughs> ah... Stronghold? 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 Come on, this is this is the moment. 
If I want to end this episode on a wonderful high note, this is the time. Come on, Minecraft. Minecraft. It wasn't done, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, the enemy spawned just where I had them with my cursor a moment ago. But yeah, uh, I guess that's it for today. Traveling a tiny bit more this way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I will see you in the next episode of Super Flood Adventures when I hopefully find a stronghold. Either that or I'll, I guess I'll just uh, go towards zero zero now. Because it's a good time to do so. Look at all. I'm changing my mind. I take it back. I'm going to explore the mine shaft. This mine shaft next time because I feel like it. Ooh, spawners. See you next time.